Hey folks, welcome once again to yet another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. And yes, the world of beer is truly wonderful, even in these appalling times that we're in. Now today we're going to be having a look at a beer that comes all the way from Italia. It's Birra Moretti, which is 4.6% alcohol by volume and it's brewed and canned over in Italy by Heineken Italia. So uh, yeah, I've had this uh, 500ml can deep chilling in the Swill and Grog beer fridge for a wee while now. Uh, it's not one you see too often in Australia. I mean, uh, I have seen it around, um, usually in the bottle, but uh, yeah, a lot harder to come by in the can. Um, so yeah, it surprises me in fact that I've uh, yeah only got around to reviewing it now as a matter of fact, but uh, today is the day. So let's crack open this can and pour it out into the Spiegelau lager glass and give it a taste. Okay, well, let's get a look at that. All right, so it's a um, slightly hazy uh, golden color, quite uh, effervescent. Yeah, see a lot of bubbles streaming to the top there. A little over two fingers of uh, bright white frothy looking head. Let's uh, move on to the aroma, shall we? Alright, uh, not getting a whole lot uh, in the aroma. Mmm, very light smell of grain. Mmm. Yeah, not much else really. The aroma is somewhat underwhelming. But uh, anyhow, that brings us to the most important part of the review, the taste test. So that's what it's all about, how it uh, tastes. So, Cheers to you all. Let's dive in. Hmm. All right, well, um, just wipe my uh, beard there. Um, <laughs> yeah, up front, yeah, a nice, subtle, sweet, multi taste. Um, a real minimal amount of uh, bitterness in the finish. Goes down extremely smoothly. Uh, yeah, really slight sort of, you know, toasted malt flavor there too uh, as well. Mm. Definitely has its own sort of distinctive uh, taste about it, uh, this one. Yeah, that's what I'm getting so far. But it's uh, very pleasant. Let's uh, have another gulp. Yeah, very nice. Um, the body is what I would describe as um, medium, like bang on medium. Yeah, there's a little bit more sort of grassy bitterness uh, coming through now that's uh, lingering in the palate. But still, it's uh, very malt forward. Um, perhaps a little bit more malt forward, um, you know, than uh, you know most lagers that are uh, around this uh, ABV range. Uh, in fact, yeah, that nice sort of, um, yeah, biscuity, toasty, roasty sort of malt flavour um, is really coming through. Yeah, yeah, they must use some really good uh, malts uh, in this brew. Mm. Yeah, just an absolutely lovely uh, flavour about it. Uh, yeah, really quite something, this one. All right, so uh, let's have another gulp. Mm. Oh, I just love the mouthfeel that it has. Um, yeah, it's very drinkable, and uh, at 4.6% ABV, you could, of course, uh, session it. Uh, 
I think the price point is perhaps uh, the one thing that uh, lets it down. Um, yeah, and I'm trying to remember what exactly I did uh, pay for it. I ended up uh, getting a slab uh, of it. Uh, gee whiz, I can't remember. It was a, a few weeks ago, uh, in fact. Anyway, I'll flash that up on screen. But, you know, being Australia, the price is, of course, going to seem quite ludicrous to uh, most of you. Um, yeah, the taxes on beer here are just insane. Alright, so, um, look at that beautiful lacing that it's uh, leaving on the glass. Yeah, that's really something. Now, this is a real quality brew. Uh, yeah, perhaps even worth the money that uh, <laughs> I paid for it. Yeah, I definitely encourage you all to go out and uh, try this. It's a, it's a bit of a hidden gem, I think, this one. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to have one last gulp and uh, give it a score out of 10. Okay, well, all in all, it's pretty damn good. Uh, it really impresses me, and, uh, you know, I certainly want to get my hands on some more of it. Um, it's probably one of the best Italian beers I've uh, ever tasted. It's really quite superb. So, as you probably guessed, I'm going to give this one a definite uh, 10 out of 10. Birra Moretti is a definite uh, 10 out of 10. So folks, uh, there you go. Thanks for uh, joining me once again for yet another beer review and uh, I'll be back real soon with another one for you all. But uh, until then, of course, take care and uh, fare thee well, all.